When you think of apple cider vinegar, you probably picture that cloudy amber liquid sitting in a glass bottle on grocery store shelves or in countless TikTok videos claiming it's the secret to weight loss, glowing skin, and better digestion. But how much of that is true? And how much is just marketing hype? Today we're diving deep into the science and history behind apple cider vinegar, commonly known as ACV, to uncover whether it's really good for you or just another health trend that's been blown out of proportion. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with what apple cider vinegar actually is. At its core, it's made by fermenting apple juice twice. The first fermentation turns the natural sugars into alcohol, just like in hard cider. Then during the second fermentation, special bacteria called acetobacter convert that alcohol into acetic acid, the key compound that gives vinegar its sour taste and strong smell. This process also creates a murky substance called the mother, which contains strands of proteins, enzymes, and friendly bacteria. Many people believe that this mother is where most of the health benefits come from. Apple cider vinegar isn't a new discovery at all. It has an ancient past. It's been used for thousands of years, dating all the way back to the Babylonians and ancient Egyptians. Hippocrates, the Greek physician often called the father of medicine, reportedly used vinegar mixed with honey to treat wounds and infections around 400 BC. In fact, long before modern antibiotics, vinegar was one of the go-to antiseptics for cleaning wounds and preserving food. Even the Romans and Persians drank diluted vinegar for supposed energy and digestive health. So while it's become trendy again in the 21st century, its reputation as a health tonic has been around for millennia. But here's where it gets interesting. Just because something has been used for thousands of years doesn't mean all the claims about it are scientifically sound. So let's take a look at what the research actually says. One of the biggest claims about apple cider vinegar is that it helps with weight loss. You've probably heard influencers swear that drinking a tablespoon before meals can melt fat or boost metabolism. But the science is a bit more complicated. Some small studies have shown that vinegar can make you feel fuller, which may lead you to eat fewer calories throughout the day. For example, a 2009 Japanese study found that participants who consumed vinegar daily for 12 weeks lost slightly more weight and belly fat than those who didn't. However, the difference was modest, about 2 to 4 pounds over 3 months, and the study had limitations. The truth is, vinegar alone isn't a magic fat burner. If you're not also eating well and staying active, that tablespoon of vinegar won't do much. Another popular claim is that apple cider vinegar helps regulate blood sugar. Here, the evidence is actually a bit stronger. Several studies suggest that vinegar can improve insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar spikes after meals, especially in people with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. The acetic acid in vinegar seems to slow down the digestion of carbohydrates, preventing rapid increases in blood glucose. For example, a 2004 study published in Diabetes Care showed that participants who consumed vinegar before a high-carb meal had improved insulin sensitivity by 19% compared to those who didn't. That's a noticeable effect. However, while ACV may be helpful as a supplement to a balanced diet, it's not a replacement for medical treatment or prescribed medication for diabetes. Next, there's the idea that apple cider vinegar promotes better digestion and gut health. The reasoning here is that vinegar's acidity can support stomach acid production, helping to break down food more effectively. The mother in unfiltered ACV 
also contains probiotics, which may contribute to a healthier gut microbiome. However, scientific evidence supporting these specific digestive benefits is still limited. Most of what we know comes from anecdotal reports rather than controlled studies. That said, many people say they feel less bloated and experience smoother digestion after using it regularly, especially when diluted in water before meals. Then we get to claims about detoxification and cleansing. Many detox programs include apple cider vinegar as a natural cleanser that supposedly flushes out toxins from your body. But the truth is, your liver and kidneys already do an excellent job of detoxifying your system naturally. No scientific study has proven that ACV speeds up or enhances this process. What it might do, however, is encourage better hydration if it's mixed with water and taken daily, which can indirectly help your body function more efficiently. Apple cider vinegar has also gained popularity in skincare and hair care routines. Some people use it as a toner to balance skin pH or as a rinse to make their hair shinier. The acetic acid's antibacterial and antifungal properties can help fight off certain microbes that cause acne or dandruff. However, dermatologists caution against applying undiluted vinegar directly to the skin as it can cause burns or irritation. Always dilute it with plenty of water if you plan to use it topically, and it's best to test it on a small area first. But for all the potential benefits, there are also some risks worth mentioning. Consuming too much apple cider vinegar can damage tooth enamel due to its acidity. It can also cause throat irritation or upset stomach if taken undiluted. In some cases, high consumption has been linked to lowered potassium levels and bone density, especially if taken in excess over long periods. If you're on medications for diabetes, heart disease, or diuretics, vinegar could also interfere with their effects, so it's best to consult a doctor before adding it to your daily routine. The key takeaway is moderation. One to two tablespoons diluted in a large glass of water is generally considered safe for most people. So, is apple cider vinegar actually good for you? The honest answer is yes, but within limits. It does have real health benefits, especially when it comes to blood sugar control and possibly digestion. It's also a low calorie way to add flavor to meals, making it a good substitute for sugary dressings or marinades. But it's not a miracle cure for weight loss, detox, or disease prevention. Its benefits are subtle and work best when paired with a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.